Hi everybody, so uh, I am going to do a demo, I guess, of the new Viseart Spritzed Edit palette, uh, which is super cute. And that's the packaging with my fingerprints all over it. And also, I kind of wanted to just address the elephant in the room. So I did order a background from Amazon and it took a very long time to get here. And this is not actually the one that I had ordered. But it's the one I have, so uh, I'm not going to send it back. I'm going to use it, and I guess just over time, I'll pick up more backgrounds. So for now, this is the one that I will be using. Uh, I don't know, it's bright and colorful. It's okay. Um, I kind of just wanted something, like, a little bit more, less loud. <laughs> but, uh, so... But I don't know, uh, it might grow on end. I also did want to address, I know that a lot of you are waiting for my brush video and I have to tell you that I am definitely still working on it. I am making or trying to make like the best brush video that I can possibly make. And I got so many questions from you guys. So I'm going to incorporate those, like answering those questions into the video as well to make sure that I, I wrote every single question down. There were some repeat questions, but for the most part, I got a ton of questions from all of you. So I'm going to use that to give you the information that you actually want, uh, in addition to anything that I feel like telling you. Um, and I will, I figure I'm probably gonna have to clean my brushes before I make like a dedicated brush video. You don't want to see my dirty brushes. So there's that. And then I also, the final thing is I want to get better at uploading. And at this point I am going to, I'm not going to put a, a, a I'm not going to give myself like a quota of days to upload, but I'm go I am going to say that I do want to do it like a lot more often than I'm doing currently. Um, I think it'll help me one, get better at filming YouTube videos. It'll help me add getting better at editing YouTube videos. And it will also just, I don't know, it'll help me get better at talking to the camera, which feels so awkward. I I, ha I have to say, like, I, I cannot shake, like, how awkward it feels to be sitting here in a room by myself and just talking. That's just not second nature to me. Uh, so I'm going to have to get over that and I guess the only way that I can do that is to just keep diving in and keep making videos um, So if you want to see this look that I created today with the Viseart spritz to edit just keep on watching and I I don't know how I'm going to edit this but I filmed these two separate parts So hopefully this one will be first and then the part of me applying will be second um I don't know how much of it I'm going to speed up. Like, I want to speed through all of the cringy parts that I don't, I don't know. So if you see my lips moving and the camera's going really fast, just, you didn't need to see it. Like, that was a moment you did not need to see it, okay? So, all right, with that, let's just get into it. I'm going to start applying the makeup. And uh, there we go. I just dropped everything. So, okay. But, yeah. Uh, I wanted to say the other products I'm going to use are the Fenty Cream Blush in Macchiato. The F that's a bronzer, Robin. The Fenty Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. The Fenty Cream Blush in Petal Poppin. Uh, and then my foundation is just my favorite foundation. It's the Lancome foundation that I use all the time. So that's basically it. I'm going to go through all of that on my face. And this is the final result. This is what you see. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's it. Okay, so I already primed my eyes uh, using the ABH eye primer, and now I don't really have a plan for the Viseart Spritz edit yet. Um, I guess I'm just gonna start applying shadows and see where it takes me. The Sonia G Blender Pro, and dip into the shade right here. This is gonna be my transition shade. Uh, took us a little bit more than I wanted.
okay I think I'm gonna like speed up the application process as I am filming so I don't want to torture anybody the Coyoto Coyoto um, oh shoot I don't know which one this is called and it's not on the brush but it they're just short little eye brushes I'm going to kind of try this one out not kind of definitely I'm going to definitely try that one out and see how I like it it's kind of bold choice for me for the crease but you never know so Sometimes you just have to try. This brush is incredibly soft, like crazy soft. Try to make it so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm like starting at the bottom and flaring that up into the upper lid area and that's where I'm going to work the crease shade in from it's always a little bit different reaching around my body <laughs> this brush is amazing Okay, now I'm going to go back into this shade with the Sonia G Blender Pro again and just diffuse those, diffuse those edges again. Same thing on the other side. So I'm going to use this refer, what is it, 14, small little blending brush, and now I'm going to go into this brown shade. I'm going to start at the outer corner of my eye, the outer lid. I'm going to just sweep that into the crease to sort of deepen that coral matte shade. Let's see if you... This is a very warm brown. And coming down on the bottom lid too. Same thing on the other side. is a very dense like dome pencil brush just lay that color down there again now I'm going to apply uh, just some glitter primer now I'm going to go into this deeper brown shade to just get a little bit more depth in that outer portion of my eye right there like that use the one that's right next to it this the shade right here Doing those lovely hair flips, which are fun, right? I'm 
Yeah, this is the lightest shade again on that Sonia G brush. Want to tone down a little bit of the coral. Just a little bit. This super light shimmer right there and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my finger and just dot it like right in the center of my lid just to like brighten that up just a little bit and same thing on this side okay can skip on over to foundation Another Coyoto brush. This is, I think this is the, shoot, I think it's the Fupa 01. Maybe it's the 2, I'm not sure. It's not the mini, even though it looks super tiny. So for that reason, I know they have a bunch of the mini Fupa brushes on Beautylish, but this one is already small. So I don't know if I would want a mini, at least not for a foundation brush. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. There, there could be use for that, too. Um, Alright, so let's just skip on over to foundation for a minute, and that way I can figure out, like, maybe something else that I want to do with it, with the palette. So I'm using the Lancome Taint You Doll foundation. I could be saying that wrong. I am... Definitely not proficient with French words, and I am sorry for that. <laughs> okay. All right, so I already do know that I like this foundation brush. I've used it a few times already. It's a little nerve-wracking, I have to say, to... Uh, apply my makeup on camera it's kind of like something I'm used to doing in private and now I like I think I just think about it too much and I realize that I am doing it to myself I'm like in my own head so I should stop that but I don't really know how so I'm going to probably just continue to do that until I get super accustomed to, um, you know, doing YouTube videos, which the only way that's going to happen is if I increase the frequency in which I film and upload. So that's a goal uh, for sure. But anyway. I definitely really enjoy this foundation brush. I I have been a long time beauty blender user for foundation. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm never going to use a beauty blender ever again, because I will. But I will say that uh, this uses a lot less foundation. Um, it. It doesn't suck it up the way that a beauty blender does, so um, there's just like a lot of money saving. Like every time I use this, I'm like, I'm actually saving money because I'm not going to go through my foundations as fast because I use far less foundation with these, with the foundation brushes. I have the, the flat top one from this brand too, and uh, I think I slightly prefer this one. Um, and you, if you don't want to use this for foundation, you could totally use this as a, like a bronzer brush, a cream blush brush. I mean, it, there's so many uses you could do with this. Okay, so next concealer. And then we'll get into like the bronzer. I do have a, 
a bronzer that I haven't shown on camera, but I'm really enjoying it. Now this concealer is, is not the right shade for me anymore, but I'm using it anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to tell once I'm all done with everything. Well, maybe you will. I can hope. And I will still use my beauty blender to kind of get the excess concealer off. I don't know, I don't think it's that noticeable. The color difference. You tell me if you're still watching. Oh, I just messed up because I wasn't looking in the mirror. A little bit more right there. You can always add more, but you can't take it away if you've put too much on. Okay, next, I'm just a, the only part of my face that I powder or set is my under eyes. So I am using Sonia G Mini Cheek. This is my favorite brush for setting my under eyes, even though it's called a cheek brush. <laughs> it's just so soft and so lovely. I love it. Okay. All right, um, bronzer. Okay, so for the bronzer, I'm going to use Fenty Cream. I have shade Macchiato. Is that, is that backwards? I hope not. Shoot. Okay, all right, and I'm also just going to use my Beauty Blender for this. And I will be just looking in my mirror instead of the camera for this so that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, ed editing Robin here. I am just speeding through this and nothing I said here was important for the video. So I took it out. Now I do think that these Fenty bronzers are pretty awesome. They, um, they're lovely, actually. They're really easy to apply, and I mean, I'm just like kind of like putting more and more on so that because I know these lights like kind of wash me out, and I want you guys to be able to like actually like see it. So, so I'm kind of just going like a little harder than I normally would. Okay, that's that. I'm not gonna put any more on. It's funny. Um, okay, so the blush. I know you guys have already seen this one, but I really like it. It's just a nice warm pink. This is called Petal Poppin, and I just think this is just a nice shade. So that's what it looks like on, oh man, I'm already swatched. This is what happens when I do makeup. Uh, my hands become where I swatch everything to decide my colors. So I'm just going to put that right there on my cheek, and then just sort of blend it out. I don't know if you guys can hear that, uh, car. Oh, it's not. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Now let's just go back and finish up the eyes. Um, okay. So I kind of want to put some more color in here somewhere and I think I want to do like a gold this shade here is more of like a satiny gold it's very similar to this shade like color wise it doesn't look like in the pan but they actually are I'll show you so 
that's that's this one and then this is that one so it's kind of it's just a very similar color but this one's more satiny so I'm going to use that one on my lower lid and I will use the Sonia G let's see this is the smudger 2 brush Okay, which looks like this okay so I'm just going to like wiggle it that's that's a lot I was looking at you guys instead <laughs> instead of here so that was a little bit too much so I'm just gonna tap that off a little bit um, and then I'm just going to go into the bottom lid here just very gently wiggling now I have some color there picking up I think this shade is so pretty it's like a orangey yellowy gold it's like sunshine it's, the shade is just it, I love it Okay, I'm back over here. It's just a really pretty shade, I think. I'm gonna do upper and lower with smog. And the dark brown shade, I'm just going to get that on the brush. And I'm going to smudge out that liner with that. Oh great, now I'm going to make this eye tear too. I don't want to get too close to the corner since it's tearing so much. I don't want to ruin like all of the rest of my makeup by getting this brush wet. I don't want this brush to get wet. All right, I think that's the best I'm going to do on that eye since it's just tearing constantly. So, Okay, now I'm just going to pop into this lightest shade right here, the lightest shimmer shade. That's going to be my inner corner highlight. And then... I'm all finished. Just like bring it up a little bit that way. Okay. All right, that is it. That is the look with the Viseart Spritzed Edit palette and my messy hands and anyway that's the full look all right so i will see you guys next time